Okay, so check it out. A lot of people have been putting up videos saying that, oh, it's dead, you know, all this shit's dead. All right, look, man, there's a lot of people putting out videos like this, and a lot of people want me to react to this video or react to that video. And look, man, I don't have time to react to every single fucking video about the game's population falling right now. You know why that is? I've played this game from the Stone Age, okay? This happens literally every single fucking expansion, man. It happens literally every single fucking expansion, okay? Every single expansion, at the very last patch, people don't give a shit anymore. This happens every expansion. This happened in Realm Reborn, happened in Heaven's Ward, happened in Stormblood, happened in Inwalker, or Shadowbringers, happened in Inwalker. Bro, let me tell you this. If the game is gonna survive through COVID and drought and all that shit, this game is, is not going anywhere, okay? Because that gap between Shiva and the next patch was fucking massive. All of the shit that people are saying, I've already said years and years ago, man. I was actually talking with Arthurs about this earlier today. I don't think people suffer from burnout from this game. A majority of people that say that they're burnt out from the game, I don't think that they're burnt out. I think that they're fucking bored. And you know why? The amount of repeatable shit that you can do is very minimal. And there's not very many different things, okay? Take the raid tiers, for example. Don't get me wrong. I love the party finder. I love the party finder. But you can only do the party finder so much. Burnout is when you're just fucking completely done. Okay, now this game, there's not enough to do in the game that will ever make anybody feel that way. So I just, I really feel like that people are confusing burnout with boredom. You're just fucking bored, man. That's what it is. It's not burnout. It's, it's not, oh, I need to take a break for my mental. No, 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 no. It's you're fucking bored out of your fucking mind, man. You should go play Ion. You want to go play a shit ass game that you can burn out in? Go play Ion. Every single day, minimum five hours. If you want to do, if you want to do all your dailies, every single day, minimum five hours. This game, you don't have to log on. How the fuck do you get burnout from a game that you, that you don't even have to log on to? This game is not a burnout game. Whenever people are like, man, I'm just burnout. I'm like, of what? <laughs> of what? <laughs> what is the overwhelming amount of things that you have to do that you actually get burnout from? So like, man, when people say they're burnout, I just genuinely think that it's a possibility that they're not really burnout, that they're confusing burnout for boredom. The reason why I want to talk about this now is because there's a lot of content creators saying, you know, the game needs more stuff. You know, there's nothing to do. You know, players are dropping. And look, look, guys, in this... <sighs> This game is as popular as ever. This is the natural course of things. This always happens. And every single fucking expansion, people are fucking flipping out about it. Like, oh no, the game's dying. I really hope they do things next expansion. Let me tell you this. If the next expansion is exactly like this expansion, it would still be a success. It would still be popular. People would still play it. So this game is not dying. It's not dead. It's not going anywhere, man. At the end of the day, 14, it doesn't force you to log in. Now, granted, some of these players aren't going to come back, but it is extremely new player friendly. The amount of new players that join versus the players that quit because they don't have anything to do. Dude, there's so many new players that play this game. They're going to come back, man. See this dip here? This dip here is going to go all the way back up here. Next expansion. There's a lot of other content creators that are making videos about, you know, their problems with the game. You know, I've watched, you know, snippets here and there. I haven't really watched the whole video or anything because I was going to save it for React. But because there's so many videos of it, I'm like, well, fuck it, man. I can't watch them all. So I'm just going to make a video. And I put this fucking picture in the background just because everybody else had the picture. Here, you want to put another picture? Yo, let's put this one. Holy. At the end of an expansion for Final Fantasy, it is super ultra omega dead. Okay, and it happens all the time. And they always come back. There's nothing wrong with the game. The game is fine. Okay, now when I say there's nothing wrong with the game, I mean like, you know, nothing bad has happened. Like all of this is natural. Now, are there things wrong with the game? Yes. I think we, we need more like raid fights. I think we need more like, you know, mid-core content. That's what this game lacks is mid-core content, you know, but we're getting all of that in Dawn Trail. That's the thing that I can't understand why all these people are like, 
oh, I don't know, is Dawn Trail going to save the game? Dawn Trail is literally slated to have the most content that this game has ever seen. It has literally everything from every expansion. Everything. Heaven's Ward and A Realm Reborn were a weird time. But Stormblood, it had Ultimates and it had Eureka. What is Dawn Trail going to have? It's going to have Ultimates and a Eureka type zone. What does Inwalker have? Ultimate and a Boja. Dawn Trail is going to have both of those. A Realm Reborn had Palace of the Dead. It's going to have a Palace of the Dead. What the fuck did Heaven's Ward have? Oh, DPS checks. Ah, well, this is they're probably not going to have DPS checks. People, they need to understand that Dawn Trail, if they deliver on this, is a different thing. But it is slated to have the most amount of content ever. Like, I don't know why people are saying Inwalker is so bad, man. Inwalker was fine, okay? It was fine. Was it the best? No, but it was fine. We had two ultimates. We had all the raid tiers. We had Criterion, but that's kind of a meme. The only thing we didn't have people are crying about is fucking Boja. And I agree. I think that it should be in there. But does that mean that it's the, the end of the, exp like, that it's the worst expansion? No. The trials were good. The primals were good. Was it a bad expansion? No, not in my opinion. You've said it yourself. This is the worst expansion. Okay, like, okay. You have to understand something, okay? This game is like a 10 out of 10. When I say that something is the worst, that doesn't mean that it's bad. I mean that it's the worst in comparison to other things. This expansion was one of the worst in my opinion. But this expansion is still better than any other MMO that I've played. <laughs> I'll put it that way. This shitty expansion is still better than any other MMO that I've played. Just because I say things like, oh, the raids kind of sucked. That doesn't mean that it's the worst of its category. Too many people, they don't understand that when content creators like me, when we say these things, we're trying to help the game. That's the problem with you motherfuckers, man. It's either that or the content creator is not, I guess, clear about their intentions. Well, with me... You fuckers know that I'm fucking clear. It's you that misunderstand me because I fucking repeat myself all the fucking goddamn time because a bunch of idiots play this game, watch the stream, watch the YouTube. Why do you think that there's an emote called looping? You know what looping is? There's so many people that are just in the fucking comments and on and on Twitch that just thinks that everything has to be fucking positive 100% of the time. You are living in a fucking fantasy world, man, because that is not how things get better. Like the devs have literally said that they welcome feedback. They welcome criticism. They listen to their players. They want us. They want the players to tell them when they fuck up. Okay, how much more clear can they fucking be? You are the problem. Okay, not me, not the devs, you and your dumbass fucking mentality that whenever you criticize something, you that means you hate the game. I'm not even looking at chat because, yeah, look, look at all this dumbass shit. Shut up, Zeno. Pepe W. Don't care. I was going to react to a couple videos, but instead I just said, fuck it, I'm going to hop on the train and I'm going to fucking make mine. Here is my take. This shit happens every expansion and every single expansion, people are fucking crazy about it. People are worried. They're just drama hungry. And you know why? They know why they're drama hungry. You know why they do this every single expansion? It's not because of burnout. It's because they're fucking bored. It's because they're, fu they're, fuck they're fucking bored. They're bored. They're bored. That's why. Now, I will say this though. You could be burnt out from certain aspects of the game, I think for sure. Let's say you're prog and top. Woo! Let's say you're prog and uh, raid tier with a shitty static or something. Then yeah, I get it. But you're not burnt out from the game. You're burnt out from your situation, man. It's not the game that's making those players. Well, I mean, well, eh, eh. you know what? That's another conversation. My point here is that it's not the content itself, right? It's the situation that you're in. Because if you were to take that same player and put them in a group that, that is successful then their entire mentality changes. There wouldn't be burnout at all. Oh, hey, oh, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Burnout versus content boredom. It seems people seriously misunderstand half the posts made here recently in regards to the current state of the game. So I'll simply as much as possible. Players are not burnout from the game. They're bored from the game. Burnout exists when a game asks too much of you. Holy fuck, man. Did I like write this post in my sleep? And you mentally and physically cannot handle playing the game any further without suffering lasting damage effects. Um, content boredom is the end result of the game not being engaging enough. 
the complete opposite end of the spectrum from burnout. This is what people are complaining about. The motive to do anything in game is worn away because the content is neither engaging enough or lasts enough to keep you entertained. Holy shit, who the fuck wrote this post, boy? Sleepy OCE. Telling people to go play other games is not the answer to content boredom. It is the answer to burnout. If people are content with the game as it is, they shouldn't feel the need to bash on other people that want more out of the game. Because at the end of the day, any and all new content added to the game is optional. It may not be content designed for you, but if you are content with the game, the extra content shouldn't be an issue for you as no one is telling you to do it. The game needs more content or longer lasting meaningful content. There is no denying that the current state of the game is not fun for anyone who actually plays the game regularly. This is good. Is Sleepy OCE also bald? This sounds like a bald person wrote it. That's what I'm talking about, man. I feel like the people confuse burnout with boredom. I really do. So this happens every expansion. After the last raid tier, there's a, a catch up patch for whatever reason. There's going to be a new trial, 24, man. The patch actually looks like a lot of fun, man, honestly. I'm definitely doing Thornton. I'm doing Server Up, 24, man, with like um, Lama Todd, Arthur's, Pyro. We're going to do the 24, man. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. Probably going to get some viewers in there, too. It should be fun. If you're bored from the game, that's normal. Don't ever feel bad about being bored of Final Fantasy 14. You don't need to make this grand exit, either. I'm quitting the game. I'm, I'm feeling the burnout. I'm quitting. I will be back. You know, yes, we know. You know what I do? I just, I just go do other shit because I already know I'm coming back. Arthur's does the same thing because we know that we're going to play this game until the end of time. This game is the best fucking thing possible for us. Okay. Because it's always going to be there. It's consistent. It's steady. And it gives us the option to go do other shit if we want to. And we don't have to feel bad about it. There were a couple times when I couldn't log into Ion and I felt horrible. I was like, fuck man, I'm going to fall behind. You know, you never get that. Okay. Now the reason why, like I wanted to talk about it today was because everybody else is talking about it. And you know what? The game's so fucking boring right now fuck it i'm gonna talk about it too you know i'm gonna try to milk the content that's how you know you're bored when you're milking the fact that there's no content so you have to make your own content but real talk though this game schedule i love this game schedule you know i just wish it was a little more not only for the you know for the 10 percent for the raiders but also the mid core more importantly the mid core you know more like savage dungeons or whatever more like trials more more like raid tiers you know more like raid fights that kind of stuff because savage is mid core regardless if you want to believe if savage is mid core or not doesn't matter savage is midcore it is meant to be pugged by pretty much anybody almost anybody can clear a savage tier and that's good there needs to be more of that content because that's the biggest chunk i feel the game is not dying the game is not going to die dawn trail is going to be just as successful as in walker or more the game is still going to be good 